that this word is different, diverse, and various. Um, what I find is so incredible on this, Regina, okay? It is yeah. the same word, same word. Chalaf is the exact same word for transmute, uh, transformation, change, and alter. Same word, same spelling. So in other words, the word that is talked about or written about the, the transfiguration of Yeshua, this is the same root. Same spelling. Um, the word oh. that, that we are going to be changed. So it's becoming a suspended or a light body. Yeah. yeah. And so okay. be changed in the twinkling of an eye that we will be. Same root word. Same spelling. Het lamed pe. There is the root. So within the root, within the root, or here's the root, we see what's added. But we have the addition of Meshach also, which is the word for oil, measure, anoint. So they have it as various, but this information is also in here. We're talking about a measurement of oil and anointing that is going to change, alter, transmute us. So that's why when we're forced into a, you know, a mechanical translation of what the interpreter is looking at they're leaving off all the other information there like it's like it's non-existent when yet that root word is the exact same it's like whoa wow so why did they decide to use the term various when they could have said alter and transmute yes because if they were to have translated this if they would have used alter transmute change then there would have been something else there that would have made this verse entirely different. So, but we have that which changes us, alters us, transmutes us, gifts according to grace. So these things that, that, that he's going to present are what's going to change us and help us ascend. When I'm looking at this though, the word for gift, okay, so they yeah. translated it as gift. But it's Yahav, which is a word that means to give. I am giving this to you. So they translated it as a gift. But this is something that is being given to alter and transmute you. So see the difference between I am giving you something to alter and transmute you versus I'm giving a gift to you. Here's a gift that is diverse. What is transmuting us? What is altering and changing us? So let's go back and take a look at this. And what do we see here? This is, this is the first three words prior to the root that means to give. So there's, oh my gosh, Ken, will you look at this? What? Take, take that off for a second so it stops ringing. Look at this. Hey, Here brother. <laughs> Hello, hello, how are you? Look at this word. Did you hear what we were saying? So this word right here. Uh -huh, you're talking about so this is, this, versus a gift. This right here, they are saying that this word means gift, uh -huh. and then this word right here means various, various gifts, right? But the root is the same root that is used to describe the transfiguration, to alter and transmute. Right. But look at what is showing here. So here, if you were to take, here's the root without the yod. Look at what's there. Mem, vav, mm -hmm. tom. Should be. So <laughs> Ken's been working on. I was going to say, well, before, we, I'm using the peripherals. Anything to do with transmutation is death. That's the mm -hmm. greater reward. Anything else that's, that is the gifts of whatever we are steward in life is lesser than the gift of death. So in, in the inverted inverse, we are already dead, right? Mm -hmm. So when it says that death 
it means life. Everything is inverted. So that's mm -hmm. like the verse that whoever tries to save their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life will save it. That right. is a verse that is about the inverse. So when you see something about death, like in this one, the gift of death is that you actually find life because you're not trying to hold on to life, which is actually death in the inversion because you aren't made alive until there's a death process that has to happen because the matrixes have inverted everything. And it's, it's like this deconstruction process of everything that needs to diminish dying to self so that the inversion, so it can be propped right side up. So here we have a word to give, they're saying it's gifts, to give, but what do we see flanking on the front and the back? We have death, mem vav, tav olive. We have death that brings oneness, and what do we see in the middle? Hey, bet. A revelation that is given to you on the inside so you can build it within the heart.